Hello and welcome to the smoothing tutorial series for NUM Excel. In this video, we will demonstrate the Winters Triple Exponential Smoothing Function. We'll be using the International Passengers Airline monthly data for our example. To start, select the E6 cell and type the TESMTH function. Click on the FX button to launch the function dialog. For X, select the input data. For the alpha smoothing parameter, select the value referenced by the E1 cell. For the trans smoothing parameter beta, select the value referenced by the E2 cell. Select the value referenced by the E3 cell for the seasonality smoothing parameter. For the season length, type 12 or select the E4 cell. Lastly, for the horizon time, select the A6 cell with zero value for in-sample smoothing. Press the OK button now. The function returned NA because we don't have enough data points yet. Copy the cell's formula to the next one. Select and edit the cell in E7. Change the input data to include all observations available up to this point. Press OK. Copy the formula to the remaining cells below it. Note that the function returned NA for the first 12 points. For an out-of-sample forecast, copy the last cell to the one immediately below it. Edit the formula of the new cell. Change the input range to exclude empty cells at the end. Lock the last cell in the input data range. Note that the step is no longer zero as we are performing a forecast. Now copy the formula to the cells below it. Let's plot the smooth time series along with the forecast. The forecast exhibits seasonality and trend. To find the best value for the smoothing parameters alpha, beta, and gamma, we first define the utility function, the sum of the squared errors, or the SSE. We'll use the NumXL TS sub to compute the error terms, and call SUMSQ to find the SSE value. Select the I19 cell, and let's invoke the solver. For the objective, select the cells with the SSE value. The solver will optimize by varying the smoothing parameter. Select alpha, beta, and gamma cells range. For constraints, all parameters should be greater than 0 and less than 1. Now, we added the constraints for the three parameters. Note that we left the checkbox to enforce positive values. Press Solve. Once the solver finds a solution, keep the result. The new optimal values are copied to our worksheet, and both the smoothing and the forecast are updated with the new values. After examining the plot, the forecast shows seasonality and a better trend. That is it for now. Thank you for watching.